Hey y'all, once again, today we have the Built in Battle pre-release box for the Sword and Shield base set. I did not open this up when the set first came out, as I did not start opening cards until about a month into its release. So I got a little behind, but here we are opening up this pre-release box. If you don't know, these pre-release boxes are sent out two weeks before, I believe, each set is released to local game shops and whatnot where they have tournaments featuring the cards in a modified tournament setting. Each of these boxes contains four packs of the set as well as a special promo card which is an official Black Star promo card. So, cut it open nice and carefully. Sorry as I bumped the camera there a little bit. not sure if I've actually ever opened one of these boxes. They are often sold in various places, but they're most common in game game shops, especially for pre-releases. A little bit of damage in the corner, but that's all right. Actually not positive how this is supposed to open. There we go. Looks like it comes in a sleeve, apparently. And then here's the battle box. You can actually hold Hold cards in there. Here. This is the poster type. It's included, and here we go. So, like I said, there's a Black Star promo card that's included. This one is Frostmoth, which is the seventh Black Star promo card. And it comes, I believe, with 23 total cards and a code card in the back. I will be keeping the sealed for the moment. I'll be sure to give away the code card if I ever do open that up. But the main things for today are these four Sword and Shield base set packs. There's the empty box. It's actually a pretty decently sturdy box. Give the damage on it if you wanted to hold your deck in here. So. Let's start off with the packs. Sorry for that. A little bit of a long intro, but I thought I should give it a little bit of an explanation for the pre-release boxes. There's the code card. Pause it and copy it over to your game. Hopefully one of you guys pull something good from that. All right, water type energy. Let's start off with potion. Rhydon, Eldegoss, Krabby, Cufint, Baltoy, Salandit, Galarian Ponyta, Cottony Reverse Hollow, and a Cinderace Non Hollow Rare. Got Lapras VMAX on the cover of this pack. We've got four from the back. Alrighty. Darkness type energy. Seem to be pulling that quite a bit in the last few weeks. Pal Pad trainer card. Citrus Berry trainer card. Quillfish. Rosalia. Pharaoh Seed. Krabby. Galarian Zigzagoon. Glossiflor. Bisharp Reverse Hollow. Which is an uncommon. And a more Peko V Max Full Art. Wow, I don't know if you guys watched my videos last week, but each one of them pulled an amazing card from those collection boxes. And now this pre-release box contained a full art VMAX. Just have been getting incredibly great pulls. Let's see, the number is number 80 out of 202. And the back, it's quite a bit uneven, but still is in good condition, fresh from a pack. And that was only the second pack, so we're only halfway through. Let's see what else we can get from the rest of this pre-release box. I know a lot of people have been really liking the new Rebel Clash set and have kind of already 
get this pack open first. Oh, I've already been kind of dismissing Sword and Shield. That's typically what happens with all of these new generations that come out. Everyone's excited for the first set, and then they always hurry off to the second, third, and so on expansion sets because they always contain better artwork, better cards, and all of the sorts. So, Water Type Energy, Galarian Linoon, Energy Switch, Bisharp, Sobble, Perchurchin, Blipbug, Rhyhorn, Mincino, Galarian Preserker, Reverse Hollow, which is a nice rare card, and a Cyclanda Holographic Rare. I do like the holofoil pattern that they have come up with for these new sets in Sword and Shield. Alrighty. Finishing off once again with the Lapras Max. Here's the code card. Alrighty, last pack from this box. Darkness type energy. Team Yell Grunt. Drizzle. Galarian Stunfisk. Maractus. Mudbray. Ponyard. Score Bunny. Nicket. Palpad Reverse Hollow. And a Durant to finish off the box. Not a great pull, but we did end up getting the more Peko VMAX full art. So, thank you guys for watching. This was the Sword and Shield pre-release Build a Battle Kit that I finally ended up opening up. Tomorrow, I will have the new Rebel Clash kit to open up. See you then.